Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Hermson, and today we're going to do a special little project, one that I've always loved. It's been true to my heart for a long time to be a doodler. Ever since I was a really a little girl, I used to love to doodle. Uh, during all my classes, I would doodle away on the sides of my notebook, on the, side, on the borders of my paper. And I remember my mother being a really big doodler as well. So doodling has always been uh, real close to my heart right here. And my son Josh, well, he's a doodler as well. So I figured this would be a great partnership in order to do this demonstration with. Josh, how do you feel about doing this today? Real excited. <laughs> he's excited. All right, this is great because you're only going to need a few, a few different things for this, for this particular exercise. If you have some of your mom or dad's shaving cream, Maybe you happen to use shaving cream as well. Um, I don't know, this is fun for all ages, so you may be one person that uses shaving cream too, but you need the foamy kind, not the gel kind, but the foamy kind, all right? That's number one. Then, number two, Josh, hold up your finger. Hold up your finger, Josh. Then you just need your finger, yep. That's it, this is your magic tool for this particular exercise, your finger, all right? Oh, and one other thing. I would recommend you maybe use an apron. All right, so Josh and I should both have aprons right now. Josh, which one do you want, Josh? The one with the hearts? Yeah, sure. Or the cookbooks? The hearts? Hearts are for Josh, all right? So I'm gonna put the cookbook apron on, okay? Because you wanna try as best you can to stay reasonably neat if possible, although it is really fun to get messy and we know that. Really fun to get messy. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll up our sleeves. All right, I actually have to unbutton mine and roll them up. Josh is gonna just roll up his sleeves, okay? And now the fun part. Now, I'm gonna take my shaving cream. All right, just put a little bit on the table. A little shaving cream goes a long way. As a matter of fact, that might have even been a little bit too much. All right, now Josh and I together, come on Josh, we're going to spread the shaving cream on the table and create a canvas for ourselves. You know what a canvas is, right? A canvas is basically that big board or even a piece of paper that an artist does his or her painting on. All right, so we're going to spray the shaving cream or spread the shaving cream around. You don't have to fill the whole table to begin with. Look at this. And it gets even more bubbly and foamy as we go. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Josh. It's almost like magic. Josh, I want you to make any squiggle on this canvas foam. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a portrait out of that squiggle. All right, Josh, go for it. Okay, watch this, guys. Watch this. And I'm going to actually try to do this. I'm going to actually try to do this upside down. Don't know if you can see that so clearly. But you see that figure right there? Josh, move in this direction. Let's see. Oh, I have shaving cream on my hands and I'm trying to zoom in. And it's a little tough, so what I'm gonna do, I'm taking my tripod and my camera and I'm moving in so you can see that. Josh, what do you think of that? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Pretty good for a first try? All right. All right, Josh, clean up our canvas. Clean up our canvas. Okay, that's it. That's the way. Erase it away. All right, press a little harder, and I'm going to have Josh do another doodle. Okay, another doodle. 
and then I am going to do another figure. All right, this stretches my imagination because I have to think strategically. As he places the doodle, I have to think what part, what body part am I going to start with when I do the drawing? He's thinking, he's thinking hard about what kind of squiggle he's going to make because he's trying to challenge my brain. Well, that's like a star, not really a squiggle. All right, and just so you see, okay, this is what we're starting with right here. All right. Whew. Uh, do you have a vision for yourself? What do you mean make, make a fox? We were just supposed to be working on squiggles right now. See, look, that's like the nose. No, you can't, you can't have a pre... That's the well, thing here, is you can't, there's no pre, uh, you know, notion as to what you're going to be drawing. It's, this is all about spontaneity. So Josh said make a fox. Well, so, all right, I'll make a little fox here for Josh. There you go, there's my little fox. But, I think I need a cameraman here, if I'm going to be the doodler and the squiggler. That's it, it's an ugly fox. Okay, he doesn't like that. All right, everyone. We're ready for a little bit more shaving cream on the table, and Josh is going to drop a little dollop so we can enhance or better our camera. All right? Josh, do a dollop for me and a dollop for you. All right, we'll split that dollop. Okay, let's put that down. All right, get your shaving cream out of the way. Josh and I, yeah, yeah, it feels good, doesn't it, Josh? Feels nice. Feels nice to create this canvas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What am I doing? Ta High five me, Josh. Josh, okay. Josh, challenge me to a doodle. All right, he's just making a squiggle. And then I'm going to try to think outside the box to create a portrait using his squiggle. Oh, okay. What can I use this as? Hmm. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to... A little bit more up there. A little bit of hair. And voila. What do you think about that, Josh? Think that's a good portrait? That's fine. What did I use Josh's squiggle as in this portrait? What what is that, Josh? An ear. An ear. I use Josh's squiggle as an ear. Let's see if Josh can do it. Alright, let's clean up the canvas. Alright. Okay, let me get some of this off my hands. Josh, do you have any extra shaving cream? All right, for our canvas. All right, and you want to know something about shaving cream? It feels so nice and it smells so good. Doesn't it, Josh? Josh doesn't think so. Josh doesn't think it smells as good as I do. All right, and here's my squiggle for Josh. Let's see if Josh thinks this is easy. Nice job, Josh. Victoria, can you come in? Victoria's the camera woman. What'd you make out of that? Made a duck. <laughs> Josh made a duck. Well, that's a pretty nice looking portrait, isn't it? Josh made a duck. All right, let's try this again. Want to challenge me again, Josh? Try to be creative like Josh. I made a swan. I made a swan. Wait, my swan does need a little eye. 
Thanks, Josh. No principles. Teamwork is important. Teamwork is important when you're doing shaving cream doodles. All right. Let's clean up our canvas again. I'm challenging Josh. In any event, if you can continue on with challenging each other, all right, in the shaving cream doodle war, or you can step it up a little bit, all right? And how you step it up a little bit is someone makes a series of cards, okay? And the cards, on the cards, there'll be a subject, sort of like charades or Pictionary, all right? So, Josh, you pick up a card, and I won't look, and you draw what it says on that card. And if I can guess, show, show the camera what the card says, but don't show me. Okay, Josh is gonna draw, and I am gonna to attempt to guess what he's drawing. We have company. <laughs> I guess a paw? Is that a paw print? All right, please, Victoria, okay, you gotta put this on pause, please. Now we have to take a little break because camera woman, Victoria Hermson, is also a baker and she's currently baking some strawberry shortcakes. So she had to put her shortcakes in the oven and so we had to take a little pause. But where we left off is when Josh, pull Josh, show the audience, what's your, show the viewers, what's on that card? All right, I don't know what's on the card and I guessed it was a, a paw, but then on second thought, I was thinking maybe it's a turkey. I'm not quite so sure. Josh, what is it? It's a hand. It's a hand, a hand? All right, well, good try, Josh. Um, but hands, the fingers usually are different lengths. And that's why I didn't guess a hand. But that was a good interpretation of a hand now that I look at it. He had a thumb and he did have four fingers. So nice job, Josh. All right, let's, let's try again. All right? Josh, you clean off the canvas this time. And I'm going to pick a card. I'm excited. This card is going to be... <gasps> Hmm. I'm going to put the card over here because I want to be sure Josh can't see it. I want him to be surprised. All right, nice job with the canvas, Josh. Show the kids your hand. Show the kids your hand, Josh. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm... Any specific kind of boat? Sailboat. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> and he got it, alright? So, so that was a good drawing and a good interpretation by Josh. That's good teamwork, isn't it? Alright, so in any event, you can do lots of fun things with shaving cream doodles. Josh, did you think it was fun? Do you think it feels good on your hands? No. It certainly smells good in the kitchen. Josh doesn't think it's, it feels good on his hands, but his mom does, okay? Let's just do one more to end the day. Josh, what do you want to do? Do you want to do a spontaneous squiggle? Let's do one more spontaneous squiggle. I'm going to give it to Josh this time, okay? Sound good, Josh? Sure. All right, and here we go. There it is. That's what he has to work with. What's he gonna make? <laughs> I think that's another duck. Nope, this one is actually a goose. <laughs> Geese are mean? Geese are super mean. No, we don't want to run into any geese. 
All right, so in any event, that's the way to be creative with shaving cream in just your finger. It might be a dinosaur. And if you decide you want to get even a little bit more creative, go ahead if you want a little bit more of a challenge and make yourself some charade type words, all right? Just like, just like in Pictionary, and then you too can do your own shaving cream doodles. We hope you had fun today. We certainly didn't, didn't, didn't we, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> Josh, high five. That was good. And the oh, and the one last thing we're gonna do is clean up. But what's really kind of nice about this, clean up is pretty darn easy. Um, and let me just go grab my paper towels, and I'm just gonna show you how to do it. I got my paper towels, and before I wet anything, you know what? Let's just clean up like this. We'll clean up as much as we can. Okay, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to send Josh over to the sink and he's going to grab a couple of wet paper towels for us. Here you go, Josh. And if you take pictures of your doodles as you do them, then you will not need to save lots of papers or even digital files. You will have pictures of your doodles as you go. And all you need it again, and I'm gonna clean up my shaving cream can as well, okay? So we have that for our next project, which is gonna be video number two today. Uh, you're gonna see our, us do our next project as well using shaving cream. This is a day of shaving cream. And as you see, our kitchen table is all cleaned up. We haven't made a mess. We smell good. And we were really creative today.